Hey everyone, happy Thursday. Thanks for tuning in this week. I'm Waller's Wallet and today I'm gonna to be giving you five tips on how you can turn a denial on your credit card application into an approval. Anytime you apply for a new credit card and receive a denial, it can definitely take the wind out of your sails. Fortunately, if you're not immediately approved, that does not mean it is the end of the road for you. Starting with tip number one, you wanna be friendly and polite. And I think this is a must in any situation, but I think it's very important if you're trying to turn a credit card denial into an approval. Remember, you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. You might be asked a lot of questions on why you want this credit card in your recent credit card application history. Remember, you wanna stay kind and respectful when answering their questions. If you start becoming frustrated or if you give the representative an attitude, well, you might as well kiss that credit card goodbye. This is all part of the game and you need to play the game if you want to win it. Tip number two, don't mention the bonus. Now, while we all know this is a key factor when applying for a new credit card, we don't wanna tell banks this is our primary motive. Banks are actively trying to reduce the number of credit card gamers and this means if you're only wanting the bonus, then you might not be the customer the bank wants to have a relationship with. If you mention the bonus as the main reason you applied for this credit card, there's a good possibility your wallet will not see that credit card. Tip number three, mention the benefits. While you don't wanna mention the bonus, you do wanna talk about the benefits on this credit card and how these benefits are gonna make this card stay at the front of your wallet. For example, if you're a frequent international traveler, talk about the fact that this credit card has no foreign transaction fees or if there are certain categories that fit better into your daily spending and that can make you use this credit card more, you definitely wanna talk about those. Banks wanna see these credit cards be used and if you can explain how this credit card will fit into your daily life, this will go a long way with them. Remember, if you come prepared with knowledge of the benefits, this will make your case even stronger to the representative on why they should approve you for this credit card. If you don't come prepared with knowledge of the benefits, how can they take you seriously? Tip number four, offer to shift credit. Now, depending on your income and the credit you already have with that particular bank, the bank might not be willing to extend any more credit to you, but there's no need to be discouraged if this were the case because you still have an option if this were to happen. If everything in your reconsideration call is going well, but the representative mentions they can't extend any more credit to you, that's okay. You can offer to move credit from one of your active credit cards to the credit card you're wanting to open. Now, some banks will not allow this, but it's always worth asking the representative if you can do this. Not all representatives will offer this option to you, so be sure to ask. And I can tell you this method has helped me numerous times in the past. Tip number five, hang up and call again. Now let's say you have tried everything you can and the representative still will not approve you for your new card. There is no reason to continue to try to convince this representative. Simply hang up the phone and try again. Sometimes it just takes finding the right representative who's willing to be a little bit more flexible with your application. And sometimes this can take multiple attempts, but sometimes that's what it takes to get your application approved. Now, even with trying all of these tips, there is a possibility you will not be approved for the credit card you just applied for. Trust me, it always hurts when you're denied for a new credit card, especially when you've already had a plan for those points. But if this were to happen, I would take notes of the reasons why the bank would not approve you for that credit card. Take this as a learning opportunity and plan your next move. This could mean you need to avoid certain banks or even hold off on applying for a new credit card for a while. But while the banks might be tightening up, there are plenty of banks out there willing to approve you for a new credit card. You just might need to look beyond the big banks. So to sum it up, receiving a denial does not mean you cannot talk your way into an approval. Remember, you always wanna be kind and patient with the representative, and sometimes there just isn't anything you can do to convince a representative to approve you for that credit card. So the question of the day, what are some of the ways you've been able to turn a denial into an approval? Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in this week. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up, or if you know somebody might benefit from this video, feel free to share it with them. Remember, I post new videos every Thursday, so if you like learning about credit cards, points, miles, cashback, or just flat out traveling for less, consider hitting the subscribe button down below, and I'll see you all next week. Safe travels and take care.